Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a follow-up video to a video I did a little while ago talking about Glamnetic Lashes. Glamnetic is a company, they don't just do lashes now, I think they actually got into press-on nails, but they're primarily known for their magnetic liner and lashes. They were kind enough to reach out and send me some PR, and I tested them out a few weeks ago. If you missed that first video, I'll throw it up in the cards, but I was immediately impressed. And I knew just up front how expensive that they were, so I wanted to take time to sit back, test them out for a few weeks, continuously use them, and then come back and give you my full thoughts and whether I think they're actually worth the money. So I have all of these lashes <laughs> to talk about today, and then I also have two versions of their liner, and I believe these are the only versions of the liner they currently have. So let's jump in first. So the two lashes they actually sent me at the very beginning for PR were these two sets right here. So the first were the Lucky Lashes, which I think were some of my favorites just right off the bat. They are very, very um, flare, dramatic, cute kind of lash. And then the other set are the Vixen Lashes. And they look just like this. Very dramatic, very bold, um, kind of a cat eye, but not super, more of a round kind of shape. But they're very, very pretty. And with those two, they also sent me in PR the regular Glamnetic Liquid uh, Magnetic Eyeliner. So this is a brush tip applicator. So I used these for a few weeks and I was just overall so impressed with how easy the application was, how well they looked, how well they stayed on throughout a full day, and just how like nicely they held up. So I think I've worn the Lucky Lashes uh, the most um, and they still look really good and all I have to do is clean them just a little bit along the lash band um, every time I use them and then other than that they're just looking really good. So after using those for a bit and being so impressed I was like you know what I am intrigued and impressed enough that I want to pick up a couple more. So I went out and I bought two pairs of their other lashes. Now one of the biggest kind of downsides I saw for these lashes at the very beginning was just the price point. These are $30 a lash so they're $29.99 standard pricing um, and then their liners are even more than that. I believe their typical regular liner is around $32.99 and then their new, they came out with a new felt tip liner. I think this is like $42. So we'll talk about the felt tip liner in a little bit, but this liner is around $32. From what I've seen over the last few weeks is that they almost always have a sale. So never buy these full price. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right off the bat. Do not spend $29.99 on these lashes because you don't need to, there's always a sale. Now, when I picked these up, I had gotten emails because I signed up for their email list. That's another tip. Sign up for their email list because they're constantly sending out coupons just all the time. And when I picked these up, I got a 20% off coupon just in the email list, right? So I picked these up. I got the Venus lashes, which were a more kind of less dramatic cat eye because for me, I really love the cat eye lashes. Those are kind of my favorites. And then I picked up a super just dramatic lash because I really just wanted to try it out, especially for some more editorial looks that I really want to do coming up. These are the Vogue lashes and ooh, look at those. <laughs> So yeah, so these are the two I picked up with my own money. I got them for 20% off. So instead of paying $29.99 per lash, I think I paid right around $23 per pair. And to me, I think the 20, between 20 and 23 is like the perfect price point for these lashes because they are long lasting, they're magnetic, and they're just really, really good. So I personally would only pay between the 20 and 23. I would not pay the full price of the 29. You do need to pick up a liner though to use these lashes. So again, I would not pay the 32.99 to pick up the regular liner. And I do recommend this liner over the felt tip liner, the, the standard brush tip liner. I would not pay 32. Again, wait, sign up with their email list, wait for a coupon code and use that. And I also think anyone who they send PR to gets a coupon code. I believe they sent me one in my email. If I, if I find it, I'll throw it up here if you want to use it. It's not an affiliate code. I make absolutely no money off of it, but I think it gives you guys a percentage off. So I'll throw the details up here in the video. So long story short, I think that these are really worth it if you can get them on sale. I wouldn't pay that full $29.99, $32.99 price point for them. So after I picked up these two pairs of lashes, loved them, kept playing with them, I had a really good collection. Like you really don't need like that many lashes because they're sturdy they work really well they last really long um, especially if you're not wearing lashes every day like I don't wear lashes every day I typically wear them for filming or when I'm doing pictures or when I want to be extra fancy but I'm not wearing them daily 
but I was actually about to get ready to film this video after buying those two pairs and having those two pairs and Glammatic reached out again and they came out with a brand new line of more natural and brown lashes. So they came out with uh, lashes that are black and brown and they're just really, really pretty and they wanted to send me two pairs along with their new felt tip liner. So the two pairs they sent me, the first I'm actually wearing on my eyes today are the Pixie lashes. So these are a set of brown lashes that are a really natural cat eye and I am just loving them so far. I actually did um, a quick tutorial on how I applied the lashes on my Instagram page. This is my Instagram. Make sure you check me out there and follow if you haven't already. But these, like this is kind of exactly what I was looking for because I went out and I got like their dramatic ones and I really liked those. But for, like for more everyday kind of wear, I realized they didn't have like super like nice natural looking lashes and they basically fixed that with this new line which is awesome <laughs> and the other pair that they sent me in pr are the twinkle lashes and again these are a um more natural looking brown kind of cat eye lash and they're so so pretty so here's a zoom in on the new twinkle lashes now I will say one kind of dud. I've only had this for like a week and a half so far, but I'm not a huge fan of their felt tip liner. It doesn't get as much like juice in it as the regular liner because you do need to do a thick line um, of the liner in order to put on the magnetic lashes. And if you want to see that whole application process, make sure you check out the first video I did because I did do a step-by-step -step, how do you put the lashes on in that video. But this one, it's a lot drier of a formula. And so by the time I put it on, instead of waiting for 20 seconds and then putting the lashes on, you kind of have to put it on and then immediately throw the lashes on. And there were a couple of times when I was trying to use this that it did dry down too fast and I had to reapply the liner. In order Order to put the lashes on just because it was just um, too dry and if it dries down 100% you can't put the lashes on that nicely. So I will say I personally am not a huge fan of this felt tip liner. If you are going to pick up some Glamnetic lashes I would say to stick with their original big felt uh, or not felt tip their brush tip liner just because there's a lot of product in here and the brush tip is really easy to use and you get just there's just the right amount of liner product on your eye in order to put the lashes on so those are my final thoughts on glamnetic i i really enjoy the lashes they're super easy to put on i actually just went back a few weeks ago and I went to put on a regular pair of lashes of lash glue and it was so much harder <laughs> than just putting on liner and popping these on because that's literally all it is like you just pop them on and they're there and then they pop right back off but they stay on all day they don't like wiggle or they don't fall off it's just they're just really good <laughs> So I think these are worth it if you're looking for something that is really easy to apply, good for beginners, and is like a perfect kind of like special event or filming picture kind of lash. So I am very happy with the six pairs that I have, but if they do come out with more of their um, like more natural kind of lashes, I kind of want to pick up more of these just because they're so comfortable and they look so nice. So that's everything I have to say about Glamnetic. Let me know down below if you guys have tried Glamnetic or if you're going to try it out and make sure you sign up for the emails or find a code or get a sale because you don't need to be spending that full amount of money for the products. So there, there's always a sale. There's always a coupon. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.